Even salvation, as it is, come down by what? Faith. Nothing comes down from heaven to earth without what? Faith. So without faith, it is impossible to access God. If we can access God through his word or through his voice, then that will be a cure for all doubts of life. We will be fine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So what is this faith then? Faith is the most important thing on the universe. The most important thing as a Christian on the universe now is what? Faith. Come with me with Mark chapter 9. I believe verse 23. So faith, faith is the most important thing on the universe. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are what? He didn't say so. <laughs> if you can believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. This is what this is what the master said. He said, if only you can believe, all things are possible. So faith confess divinity upon humanity. Praise the Lord. Faith confess divinity upon humanity. Faith also empowers to operate in the realm of God. And somebody might say, where is Bishop going with this? I'm going somewhere with it. You know the account in Mark chapter 11, right? Mark chapter 11. The casting of the fig tree and all this thing when the people were doubting and all this thing. I believe Thomas was with the group of Jesus. Right? And I believe Thomas is from Missouri. <laughs> so they told the master, let's go to the same place. One day God had to say, Master, look, the tree you cast has a dried up from its roots. <clears throat> so in Mark 11, when you come to verse 22, if you read all the account of the story, and you come to 22, when the disciples were doubting or wondering, he told them, he said, what? Have faith in God. He said, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Now, let's look at the account. Let's pick it up from 22 through 23. Media team, yeah. Oh, he's already there, right? So I have faith in God. For very I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. No, at that time on Mount Everest was not in front of Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh, where is Abadja too? No, not mountain Abadja too. Okay. <laughs> so whosoever have faith in God, or have the God kind of faith, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. You get my word? That the faith is the most important thing on the universe. The master himself said, if you can believe, all things are possible. Now he said, if you have the God kind of faith, you can say to the mountain here, any type of problem, you can say to it, that vamos. 
Personally, sometimes I'm selfish when it comes to snow because I don't like shoveling snow. So when I hear that snow is coming, I say, go to Denver. They love it. Send it to Vermont. And they boy should be this year. We don't like it. I do pray about it. Seriously. The only time I love snow is when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Watching through the window and I let it fall. I, I admire it, but I'm not shoveling. <laughs> so faith. Right? So this faith we're talking about, faith also gives us access to God. So without faith, you can ask us God. Let's look at the account of I believe Man chapter 5. The story of the woman with the issue of blood. I believe Man chapter 5. Media team, you can put it there from 25 to 34. Faith is important. Right? We will read through. But there is something I want to tell you. The Bible says that Jesus was there. There were so many presses. Yeah, there were presses around the master. He's all knowing. You. And when he had the disciples, the disciples were talking different language. Come on, you know there's a whole lot of people here and you asking them who talk to you. Your faith will access God. And when your faith access God, but you go. Jesus said, yes. But you went out of me. The woman said, what? Say, if I may touch the hem of his garment. And the Bible said that immediately the blood stopped. Hallelujah. How come the other people there didn't have the power? Virtue will leave Jesus if your faith comes alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, somebody, power has gone out of me. And saying the woman, in fact, let's look at it from verse 30. In verse 30, he says something. Before, ah, you have faith. Oh, you got to 26. Go to 34. From 30 through 34. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, you are getting there. Yeah. Oh, they are there. <laughs> From the steady. Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue has gone out of him. Return him about. Oh, turn him about in the presses and said, Who touched my cloth? To somebody, there were so many presses. But somebody, somebody gave a unique touch. So as soon as that person touched Jesus, virgin, when the power left him, and when we continue coming to 34, he says something, yeah, okay. About the process, we done that, yeah. 31, when he was asking the disciples that somebody told him I'm not even interested about that, but the, the last portion, 34. Yeah. 
You do him. Come on, we'll get there. Verse 34. How should we know? Believe that, that the woman was probably rich some time ago because they said she spent all her resources trying to find a physician. The money was dried up and she wasn't better. But she heard about Jesus. What did they do? She heard about what? Jesus. And when she heard about Jesus, what did she do? He pursued. We that are the spirit of faith, we believe. Right? And when you believe, you act. Remember what the Virgin Mary said. It's a blessed is she that believer. There shall be a performance. Whatever you are believed, there shall be a performance. The Virgin Mary said that, blessed is she, thou believer, there shall be a performance of those things which was told her. The woman heard about Jesus, so she pursued. And when she went there, having some background about Jesus, she said, look, if I can go through this process and touch her, I shall be made whole. And I think that steady Paul, he said, your faith has made you what? Well, how come the other people with the presses? Well, nothing happened. I'll give you an easy example. Now we have light here. If we all go out and we cut off all the lights, and you come here complain that there is no light, because you didn't know that there was a switch. So maybe Reverend Jennings thought that, okay, there is a switch. So she said, pop the switch on. Right? Then you got what? Light. And there was light. But you also came here, but you were saying that there is no life. Because you didn't know. But somebody knew. So somebody what? Turned the light on. And there was light. And we all what? Enjoyed what? The light. So to this woman, her faith, right? Made her what? Oh. Praise the Lord. Right? So faith draws on the power of God to impact our life. Faith draws on the power of God to do what? To impact what? Our life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Faith is also a spiritual platform. For empowerment. In the introduction, I said that unfolding the mystery of faith. In First Timothy 3 9. So, mystery is a kingdom secret. Mystery is a kingdom secret. So, you have to find out a secret. Nothing comes down from heaven without what? Faith. Amen. Okay. What was the stronghold of Abraham's faith? Because he had from God. So he wouldn't drift. He was with the family and all this and I saw it. Hey, leave your kindred. It's just like you tell an American. You know when I heard the American tell him, long time ago. And coming from the other side, I said, maybe they have to psychologically check his brain. Are you going to leave a beautiful place like this and go to Afghanistan and go to... Something might be wrong with you. <laughs> and you know how people will swim and get across the United States. <laughs> and you will sell your bed, right? and go to the, the jungle. And there are even dangerous boxes in Africa. <laughs> in Africa. So if it's a mystery, 
the ministry is a kingdom secret. So we have told that to you. So Jesus said that if you can believe, all things are what? Possible. Even the impossible situation in Mark chapter 11, where he kept a fig tree, and the disciples were wondering, they said, how the God kind of faith? And if you have the God kind of faith, then you can do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So every time faith comes alive, God's integrity, God's integrity, is committed to deliver. Amen. Every time faith comes alive, God's integrity is committed. How God's home and potency is committed to comes alive. Uh, this morning we were singing the song. God's counsel, it says, My counsel shall stand, and I do. My pleasure. So anytime faith comes alive, just say no. Sometimes they feel like having a council meeting over there. Then Brother Jesus said that no, we don't like Michael here. This is not the time for Kung Fu. Let me go. It's just like the four people in the fire, right? One decided, oh, kid, we are not ready to hold any council. We are not going to call Reverend Jen. Cancel us for another thing. Yeah, you can throw us in. And I know what God will do. Like Jesus said, that, yeah, let me go myself. Amen. He led them through. Amen. He said, wow, with three only three people, but I can see another guy, mm -hmm. the fourth man. Mm -hmm. Now, God has his integrity Amen. intact. So when faith comes alive, God is committed to do what? To show up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let your faith. Uh, I mean, you have a son. Let your faith arise. Uh, something, something. I know the praise and worship you normally sing something. Helen or Jackie or Stephanie. And let your faith arise and the sun and something. I don't know. But I know. <laughs> See, I, I will make a joyful name. <laughs> they have their own office. Does it? Does it? Yeah. <laughs> You can do that for two minutes. Yeah. You don't have to come here. You can sing there. You can rest there. In the name of Jesus, let faith arise in your soul. Arise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Faith is also a spiritual work, weapon and an ever winning spiritual force. Please give me Ephesians 6, verse 16. Then 1 John 5 4. If you can put all the two, that would be nice. I need all the two. One is a spiritual work, weapon, and two is ever winning spiritual force. First, I want Ephesians 6 16. Then the second one will be 1 John 5 4.
sons of Amor taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to do what? Quench all the fiery dust of the wicked. You see why faith is important? Yeah. Take the shield of faith and kick my guys. <laughs> what about our Goliath? Or who is the strongest man? Who is the heavyweight boxer now? No, nobody, nobody, right? Yeah, we don't know. After nobody. this, nobody else. Nobody yeah, nobody. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is the point I'm looking at. I said, take the shield of faith. So that you'll be able to quench all the fairy tales of the wicked one. Now, let's give me that John. Yes. Right? For whosoever is born of God. Are we born of God? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Overcome at what? The world. The world. The world not only Washington, D.C. The world. Yes. Not only 1600 Pennsylvania Island. Amen. You know 1600 Amen. Pennsylvania Island, right? <laughs> That's the white house. So no you overcome. Including what? What's the name of the guy? Putin or what? Russia? Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that little man from <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> Shorty, <laughs> I can't even pronounce his name. Who cares about the Shorty. Shorty. <laughs> right. Overcomes the world. And this is the victory. God overcoming the world. Even a what? Even a what? Faith. Even a what? Faith. Now, do you see why faith is so important? Amen. Without faith, you can't accept God. Or without faith, you can't please God. Mm. If you are not pleasing God, then you are in trouble. Mm. Because you can't access Him. Mm. But we need to access Him. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. I need you, I need you. Right? I need you every minute or every yeah, hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that was the Methodist watch. When, when we used to go to the Methodist church. I need you every hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need you every second. Mm -hmm. yes, but I have a good word for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe Psalm 65, verse 11. He says he crunched the whole year with what? Goodness. He crunched the whole year. That includes January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and even even leap year. They are all part of it. He crowned the whole year with goodness. Amen. So what's your expectation? So the psalmist said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Because if he crowned the whole year, that includes the months, includes the weeks, includes the days, and all the minutes, the hours, you can work it out. So I know that he got the whole one. The man behind me got the whole world. And I said, and I said he has a plan and a future for me. So my future is as bright as the promise of God. Because God said he cannot deny himself. He said his counsel shall stand. His counsel concerning you, 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 you will stand. In fact, he didn't say, well, he used a shall. And that's a contract language, a certain language. He said, my counsel shall stand. And I will do what I choose. Nobody else, and there is none. I like me. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the faith, we say faith come by what? Hearing. Hearing yes. by the word of God. And by it is more than that. Faith coming by hearing from God. Amen. The stronghold of Abraham's faith. Well, that he had from God. He had from God himself. No, somebody told him, Peter said, no, no. He had Abraham. 
get up. I will make you great and a blessing. So he followed through. Right? So you act on what you believe. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. So all Abraham faith, the grip of faith was that he heard from God. He heard the voice of God. Remember in Romans, he said that he was fully persuaded. From what he heard, he was fully persuaded. That if he has said something, then obviously he will but do it. If God has said something, if God has made a promise, he will do it. Amen. I said faith coming by what? Hearing by the word of God. Oh please, turn with me with James chapter 1. Verse 22. Now let's do 21 and 22. I'm looking for 22. Don't just hear the word, but be a doer. Don't just hear the word. Be a doer. Say, if you're a farmer and you have a seed in your hand, right? You think the seed is going to grow in your hand? <laughs> By law of nature, the seed has to go to mother earth, the ground. And the ground will Give you what you want. Right? So the seed is not going to stay in your ground. If you are withholding your seed, then you are not going to get any multiplication effect. If you want multiplication effect, then you have to sow the seed and let nature take care of it and get all that you want. I went in James. Oh, I'm 22. 21, okay. The wherefore lay apart all filthiness and uh, superfluity of what? Naughtiness. And receive with what? Meekness. Receive with what? Meekness. And it doesn't say receive with pride. Receive with what? Meekness. The engrafted one, which is able to save what? Your souls. Praise the Lord. The engrafted, receive with meekness. The engrafted one. So be a doer of the word. While we are here, I think it's just like, a, I believe Luke chapter 6. From verse 46, what he says, Why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I tell you to do? For I will liken them to two people, two normal born again Christians, torn lashing Christians. <laughs> one built a house on the sand, and one on the rock. Well, the winds of adversity hit both buildings. So the intensity of the wind are the same. So what about the destruction of the building? It cannot be the wind. Because it would be nonsense. The one was built on the wall. The rock. The one built on the rock what? Stood. And so the levy, the New Orleans levy didn't break. <laughs> because it was built on the rock. So it didn't, it didn't break. Right? So not just hearing the word, but hearing and doing. And if you do that, scripture says that they that love me, what? Obey my commandments. They do it. They do my command. If you love me, you do what? My command. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't talk about Abraham. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's see. 
access to God. Let's look at this. God still speaks. God spoke to Abraham. And God still speaks Amen. to us today. Amen. Right? Amen. He speaks to us through his word. Right. Let's go to Hebrews. Chapter 1. Verse 1 through 4. Why he says, God who at sundry times spoke to us through the prophet, but in this last days has spoken to us through his son. Right? Are we there? Yeah. yeah. Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 1 through 4. Okay, that's fine. No, no. Let us therefore fear. Let's a promise. <laughs> ah, okay. God who has hundred times, yeah, spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Right? Verse 2. See us in this last days spoken unto us by his son whom he had Appointed head of what? All things. Verse 3, verse 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his word. Power. When he had. He had what? Okay. Oh, he had had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. So, if we come to the brothers who says we are atheists and all this thing, they don't believe in God and all this thing. When I come to the word, they will see what he has missed. Right? We say, God still speaks. Amen. If they spoke to Abraham, this God is, he's speaking to us through his son. Right? Amen. And also what? True. The Spirit. Let's go to John chapter 16. Reading from verse 12, he told Jesus, told the disciples, I have so many things to tell you, but you can't comprehend this time. But how be it? When the Spirit of truth comes, he will teach you, he will teach you all truth. And whatever you hear, he will tell you, and he will show you what? Tense to come. Are we there? Yeah. He said what? Well, he will show you tense to come. <coughs> he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. And all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take off me and shall show it unto you. So I'm afraid so God also speak to, to us through the Spirit. And I'm here to submit to you that The carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit. Spiritual things are spiritually what? The same. I believe I gave you I think three Corinthians one Corinthians two fourteen. The paper I gave you. 
Yes. But the carnal man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are what? Foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Because they are what? Spiritually what? Descend. So if you want to receive spiritual things, he had to be in the spirit. Let's see Revelation 1 10. Revelation 1 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Was it carnal? Uh -uh. Well, if he was carnal, he wouldn't. Hello? He was in the spirit. Yep. Oh, I look today. We should what? Walk in the spirit, right? I gave you, I think, Galatians. Galatians 5, 25. Say we should walk in the spirit and also live in the spirit. Let's see if it's another one. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk. In the spirit. If you live in the spirit, he had to walk in the spirit. I'm not a tax man, but did you pay Maryland tax and pay the Jewish tax at the same time? No, you don't. You live in Maryland, you pay Maryland tax. And federal government tax, but you don't pay federal government tax, pay Maryland tax and pay Missouri. So if you live in the spirit, then you must walk in the spirit. Amen. Does that make sense? Living in the spirit and walking in the spirit. That's totally wrong. You live in the spirit, walk in the spirit. Being spiritual is good. But what makes you spiritual? You have to pray and study the word of God. And pray and study the word of God. Yeah. Make you spiritual, but practically, are you really spiritual? <clears throat> being walking in or oh, being spiritual means invoking the presence of God through praise and worship, bring the presence of God all the time. Flow with that. Because God can talk to you in a tense, and you must understand the details of what? The spirit. What is the spirit saying? We hear that the carnal man cannot understand the things of the spirit because spiritual things are spiritually what? Descent. Well, if you are not in the spirit, are you going to descend? <laughs> When people are praying and singing praises and bombarding heaven, you watching football 24 7, you, will you know? <laughs> I'm not saying watching football is not good, but I'm saying that. Put your priorities in order. Amen. Amen. Okay? At least, so far, you have seen the ministry of faith. Faith empowers you. If you can believe, all things are possible. Somebody's faith, which defies somebody's problem, which defied all medical logic, 
went to Jesus. Boom! Case closed. No complications. He heals without complications. Amen. Then you can go to your Hawkins and they can run all the tests. They won't see you. <laughs> what happened to you? Say it, bro. What up? You say, yeah, Jesus up. <laughs> what happened to you when you came yesterday? We saw all this thing spread all over. What's up? You say, Jesus up. <laughs> yeah, can you wait? I can wait. You wait two hours, three hours. You say, hey, doctor, come here. <laughs> If your eyes can't see or you can't see anything, let me go home. I'm okay. Amen. Jesus cleansed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, this is the first time. Well, okay. You sure you can't help me to be in the Guinness Book of Records? <laughs> if I can make up. But Jesus up. Jesus did that. Jesus up. Praise the Lord. You know, I'd want to ask you, what's up, James? I said, Jesus, up. So what did you say? I said, you, you had me. You want me, I can repeat it to you. Yeah, Jesus, up. You ask me a question and gave you an answer. I tell you, I don't know. You know who I know. <laughs> what do you mean, man, you don't know? I once listened to a comedian. He said something that blessed me. We say, blessed are the living. He said, today is Sunday, right? If God doesn't have provisions for you tomorrow, he will make sure you will not see tomorrow. How will he do that? Meaning that you will be horizontal. <laughs> you won't be very bad. <laughs> now you got it. Almighty God. He's God Almighty. He owes everything. God doesn't lack anything. So you think there is not enough provision for him for you? How, how many in the world the population? I think it's billions, right? Uh, very soon we'll be going to zillions. But God is still God. Amen. He's still on the throne. So if he won't have provision for all the few people, he will make sure you won't see that day. You know, that people don't talk. If you don't see that day, that's it. But once you wake up, if you survive, everything will be all right. Right? Remember our grandmothers, sister and daughter, everything will be all right. How do you know? They even didn't have all the degrees. But there is something about them. They said it will be all right. And they know Amen. it's going to be what? All right. Amen. Yeah. We have got all the degrees and we don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God Hallelujah. is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now let me switch to the word. This morning we talk about Psalm 119, verse 9. But how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word. Right? If you buy any electronics or you even buy a piano and all this thing, they will give you a manual. To, if you follow the manufacturer's manual, you will be able to set whatever product. And as Christians, everything that pertains to life and godliness are all here. Amen. Right? We have to discipline ourselves. Sit down. Take the Bible seriously. Right? And once our faith comes alive, that we will ask us the power of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In John chapter 16, verse 14. John 16, 
No, by six, not 14. Jesus introduced himself to Thomas that I am the way, the life, the truth, and no one come to the Father. By by me. Jesus said he is the way, the truth. On the light. Who doesn't like the light? Who? Oh. If you don't have life, if you don't like life, I have an idea for you. Go to where they have the condemned. People who are going to the killer or by the electric what? Injection or whatever. You see how they plead for their life? So enjoy your life. Life is good all the time. Good. Amen. You have God. You have Jesus. You have the word of God. You can pray. Right? I mean, Helen, I think there used to be a sign that said what? Say, I don't have to worry. Since I can pray, I don't have to worry. Pray. I'm God's property. I don't have to worry. Since I can pray, I don't have to worry. God is on my side. What is it? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Did I get it? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Joe, I got it this time. We only make joyful noise, okay? We don't go, we don't, we don't go there. At least, I try a little bit. I'm God's property. Since I can pray, God is on my side. Amen. Right? Amen. So Jesus shows up and he says, look, I'm the way. I'm the truth. And I'm the light. In John 17, 17, when he prayed, he said, Father, sanctify them by your word, because your word is truth. Set them apart because they are born again. Because I have used my blood to purchase these people. Set them apart yeah. by your word. Because your word is what? Truth. Truth. So young man or young lady, you are going to cleanse <laughs> your way by this and this only. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right? Hallelujah. Then Paul also tells us that Jesus is the Amen of God. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 1 20. Let's put that on the bar. Second Corinthians 1 20. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him what? Amen. Unto the glory of God by us. He is the way, the truth, the life, and is the amen of God. He is the amen of God. The truth, the truth, which is Jesus, the word. Remember, Jesus is the power and the wisdom of God. The truth has also obtained for us some inheritance. Let's go to Revelations chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. Good. Let's see. I call it sevenfold inheritance. Let's see if they are seven. Praise the Lord. It's a saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive. 
Power. So power is what? One. And two is what? Riches. Riches. Three. Wisdom. Wisdom. Four. Strength. Five. Honor. Six. Glory. And seven. And all this, this inheritance, as I started from the beginning, that all that Jesus offers, they come through faith. All this power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessings come through what? They are inheritance. You will inherit this thing by what? You will inherit it by what? Faith. Praise the Lord. You will inherit it by what? Faith. Faith. So Jesus the truth. He is the Amen of God. He is the way. The truth. The life. And the only way to God. Amen. He is also what? The Amen. Amen. Of God. And has also given us what? Sevenfold inheritance praise the Lord praise the Lord he has given us what sevenfold inheritance so the knowledge of the truth is good give me Isaiah 513. Isaiah. <laughs> Say, therefore, my people are going into what? Captivity. Why? They said, because. That's the why. You will give you the answer there. The people have gone to what? Captivity. Because they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. So lack of knowledge will make you a victim. They've gone to captivity because they have no what? Right? And the honorable men are what? People who are supposed to stand like American footballer. <laughs> I work with a guy called Troy. He's, and I, one day I was just talking to him and I said, Look, are you sure you're an American? I said, what are you talking about? Yeah, the last time I checked, all Americans are six footers, okay? Mm. You sure you're not doing something to get scholarship? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, you can be, you can be yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at least all Americans are no are six footers. Hey. Look at Stephen. Hey. And look at his brother. Hey. Hey. Look at Christians. Children, I was here when they bombed them. Now I had to jump before I can see their <laughs> So I was talking with him. I said, "Are you from the other side?" He said, "Are you? Are you real?" I said, "Yes." Something bothers me about you. He said, "Who told you that?" I said, "Yeah, I knew that before I even came to the United States." When they show you basketball players and they show the footballers, they are men. They are no boys. So these are men. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm having fun. So Jesus is the man of God. All right? And he just told us in uh, Isaiah. 5.13, the lack of knowledge 
will make you a victim. That same scripture is just like Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed because of all the lack of a lack of knowledge. Right? Now, since we are talking about knowledge, let's do Isaiah 53. That's 5 through 6. Media team, Isaiah 15. It says, you say the Lord is exalted on high something. Uh, Isaiah 53, verse 5 through 6, yes. On that. Are you sure? From verse 5 through 6, you say the Lord is exalted on high, right? He has filled Zion with wisdom, right? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. You sure 53? Yeah. Now look at 5. Look at 5. No, Look at five, six and six and uh, five and six. Hold on. No, I said the Lord is exalted on high. He has filled Zion with wisdom. Okay? And wisdom and knowledge shall be. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. Isaiah 33 and 6. 5 and 6. No, Isaiah 33 and 6. What does it say? It says the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. Okay. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. Wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and the way. We've been told that Jesus is the truth. Right? The way on life. We also told that Jesus is the the Amen of God. Yes, Isaiah 33. It's Isaiah 33. Ah, oh, so that's not what it's on the board. It say Isaiah 33, verse 5 and 6, right? Okay. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I say the Lord is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He has filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and a wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times, and the strength of your salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Did you see how knowledge? That's important. Knowledge is vital. Lack of knowledge will make you a victim. Right, if you are knowledgeable in something, that gives you what? A leverage. Right? And if you don't know what to do, then let's go back to John chapter 16, where Jesus unfold right? The office of the Holy Spirit. He will show you of things to come. He will teach you and do what? All truths. So go on your knees in your office or this thing and take a five minutes break. Use wisdom. Amen. Say, Lord, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. By the time you bombard heaven a little bit and you come back, you have fresh ideas. Amen. And they continue what? Doing what? What you are doing. Praise the Lord. Right? 
So we're talking about the truth here. If wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times, then that means that the truth will triumph anyway. The truth will triumph anyway. Whether you are in Burkina Faso, wherever you are, the truth will triumph Amen. anyway. Amen. Because that's the truth. Amen. The word of God shall come to pass. Amen. Hold on to the word. Hold on to the word, right? That which is coming shall come. If only you don't quit. For God is not finished. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If the same man of the universe says, I will open up a pool, streams, in the wilderness, that means I'm doing a process. So don't quit. He's coming. Hallelujah. He's coming. Amen. Don't quit. I said earlier on, I said that God requires every born again Christian just trust me. I got your future. Amen. Amen. Maybe we are listening to the news too much. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Maybe you take part of the time and check the book. Hallelujah. And do your meditation. Yeah. Do your meditation. That I know. Say all things with, all things are possible with God. Yes. But I know certain things are not possible with him. That looks strange, right? You want me to tell you what is not possible, with God? Even if you want to lie, he can lie. That's right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. No, he can lie. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's impossible. I think Reverend Janice thought about that, but uh, Tyson also thought about that. It, God cannot change. He say, I'm God. Malachi 3 6. He say, I'm God. I change not. Even if I want to change, I can change. And lo, I'm with you always. I will never forsake you. Let that be your comfort. In whatever crisis situation you are, say, God, I don't understand. But I know you can lie. Your word is true. Your word for me is true. Your counsel shall stand. Your counsel concerning me shall stand. You do. Your pleasure. I don't understand, but I don't have to understand because I got you. Amen. And I will do whatever you say. I'm listening. And sometimes, having done the meditation and all this, and be quiet a little bit because you can't be talking all the time. <laughs> be quiet and also listen to him. To every word of God, there is a spirit behind that. Jesus said in John 6, 63, they say the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So let's hear what the spirit is saying. Yeah, Father, give me, give me, give me. It's enough. Okay. <laughs> now listen. Be quiet and listen. Take the book. Look at the book. What you were reading, what you many, what is God telling you? That goes what? What is he telling you? Right? Now, let me go to Hebrews. I believe Hebrews chapter 4. I will take it from there still. I say for unto us. I say for unto, I say for unto us. Just like unto them. The gospel was preached. But the gospel preached was not mixed with faith. So it did not profit them. 
the word of God that you are reading, that you are meditating, let it profit. Amen. And along the line, you say, those who have believed have entered into rest. Believe and enter into rest. And let the word of God profit you. Amen. 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 Yes. Now, you have seen today that faith is a mystery. Right? The mystery of faith. Right? So, mystery is a kingdom secret. Right? And Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are what? Possible. Possible. And with all the process at what? I lost interest in football. RFK. Is it no wrestling park? All the process. The woman with the issue of the blood came. Tap in. And Jesus said, Well, something power left me. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Now, let's go to give me Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 23. He said that he said, my son, my son, my daughter, attend to my word. Attend to my word. Make great time. Mm -hmm. And don't do like you listen to CNN or what? What the crazy one? Fox News? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about bye, bye. Uh, CNN. I think all the people are lawyers. So yeah, but you go to other channels, you know you want to even switch it up. <laughs> right? You say, attend. Create time for my wife. <coughs> Incline thy ears. Incline it. And let me pour my wife yes. into your ears. Yes. Let them not depart from your eyes. Yes. There is a virtue. And look in. Mm -hmm. Look in unto Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. He completes your faith Amen. if you keep on looking to him. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Right? Yes. So there is virtue in looking. Right? Mm -hmm. There is always what? Virtue in looking. Yeah. yeah, keep them in the midst of thy heart. Okay. With all uh, keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. The issues of life doesn't come from your head. It comes from here. You know. I came here and had certain phrases. It's a bad phrase. So they say, if this is right, if it is right, if it's here, it will come out. Mm -hmm. You can conceal certain things here. Mm -hmm. So keep your heart. Right? Yeah. Keep your heart all with all diligence. Diligence is constant application of all effort. Please mm -hmm. get all the bitter roots out. Amen. Amen. And save your money. Amen. Because the doctors will get it. You know, they pay college fees. You think uh, doing medicine is free? Yeah. But when the hotel is, it's not free. That's right. You pay money. Mm -hmm. Going to law school, you pay money, it's not free. So if you don't keep this thing with all diligence, blood pressure, then whatever the other one, the other one, then the other one I don't want to hear. See, that alphabet is not good. OK? 
Okay. So keep on looking. Give me some 34, that's five. Where he says, they looked unto him and they were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed. I believe that they looked unto him. They are back to and look at Nobody look at Jesus and become ashamed. They looked unto him and their faces were what? There was a glow. And they were what? Not ashamed. Look at the word, and you will be all right. Look at the word, regardless of every situation. Yes. And if even that thing, if he has a name, it will bow. Right? Because of the name of Jesus, every, every name or everything that has a name will bow. Right? The doctor's gonna give him and then come back and say, hey, nothing, nothing. I command you to go in Jesus' name. <laughs> Get up, guys. Go in Jesus' name. Right? I've like I've been praying with some people that come. And I've been telling them, I drive out in every corruption of sickness in your body to get up in Jesus' name. They're not supposed to stay there. They should get up. The entrance of the word, give it what? And understand. So when the word enters, every darkness had to disappear. So let's get more dosage of the word over there. Let the word enter. And every corruption of sickness shall get up. Right? Hallelujah. And thank God today we will do the last seven. Jesus said, I gave you the bread. Right? That's my broken body for your what? Your health. So we're going to inject the bread today. We're going to drink the cup of life. Amen. We drink to life. Amen. We eat to health. Help me also. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have delayed. My time is almost up, huh? Yeah. Okay, it's what? 12 to 25. By the time we do this, then okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost. Yeah. I'm almost done. Let me recap. We do two things today. We say, unfolding the mystery of faith. And uh, I send you through some scriptures. And we also talk about the word of God. That the word is the truth, the life, and all that. The word is spirit and life. And the word of Jesus is also what the amen of God. Right? And faith gives you access to God. And recap, that is what we have done. For the last four weeks. An hour, 15 minutes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Come to the London and the ministers who get ready for the communion. We will do that shortly. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll bless you again today. I speak a life to the audience. In the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, we command every corruption of sickness meditating against them to live. And Jesus' name, we command even 2020 vision. In the name of Jesus. Eyes be healed. In Jesus' name. We draw diabetes from our system. In the name of Jesus. We command all vital signs to be normal. In the name of Jesus. 
back, straighten up. In the name of Jesus. Blood pressure, normalize. In the name of Jesus. Cholesterol, normalize. In the name of Jesus. We bless your name, O Lord. Finances, swallow up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we are in Zion and your word declares that you command blessings in Zion and we possess our possession in Zion. So we thank you for restoration and possessing our possessions in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen. And amen.